Hi there everybody, welcome to another video from SH Millinery on YouTube and we're very lucky this morning we are interviewing Svetlana from Present Perfect Creations. Now she makes the most wonderful flowers from a variety of fabrics, leather, etc. So she's going to talk to us all about her business. And for members that are watching, they will get an exclusive discount to some of her tutorials. So without further ado, welcome. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Svetlana Faulkner. I'm the face behind Present Perfect Creations. Um, we might have met. Maybe you have followed me online before. If not, I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. Uh, I've, I'm a, a silk and leather flower designer maker, and I've been in this for almost 10 years now. Um, I really enjoy it, and I think it's um, such a diverse craft, uh, as well as millinery probably, that uh, you are hardly going to get bored in it because there's so many flowers you can make out of so many different fabrics, as well as leather. I think it's it's really really inspirational and um, yeah uh, count yeah countless options there. <laughs> <laughs> so you started ten years ago. Was it your love of flowers that started you, or your love of crafting? Or uh, it's very interesting because where I grew up, uh, there were no flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it might sound harsh, but yes, um, I spent for seventeen years and. Um, above the Arctic Circle in permafrost, where nothing grows, literally nothing. <clears throat> apart from a couple of wild mushrooms and some wild berries. There are no trees. So it's uh -huh. tundra, if you heard. You yeah. know, geography lessons. Yeah, it's really bad. It's a lot of snow. You know, some children might find it fun. If you have it for 17 years, not so fun. <laughs> so possibly, on contrast with that, I think um, I've always loved flowers. Luckily, my grandmother lived in a totally different climate, more Mediterranean-like. I would spend summers there, and I would always enjoy flowers, obviously. But most of my days, I would be spending in this uh, permafrost white desert. So no seasons as such. We didn't have any spring. You know, we didn't have any autumn. No. So it's really, it's yeah, it's it's quite... Uh, depriving, I must say. But you know, as a child, when you're there, you don't really know it. Yeah. Now that I'm in England, I really appreciate uh, everything I have. You know, the weather changing, sometimes yeah. isn't yeah. Changing the weather seasons. sometimes is not ideal, <laughs> but um, I don't complain because uh, it's such a variety. There's something in flower all year round. You know, literally all year round. Even yeah. I mean, now, it's everything is waking up. So I'm quite aware of seasons, and I think in my work as well, I like to convey that as well, because we can, we can, you know, when we offer some seasonality, I mean, it's quite trendy now anyway with food and everything. It, it also makes us more connected with, um, you know, with nature sure. and with where we yeah. are. So I really like it as well in terms, you know, our um position uh, on nature scheme, so to say. Yeah, because um, a lot of milliners are tended to, tend to think, oh, well, you just tend to put roses on hats. But yeah. your ethos is, no, flowers of yeah. all types. Yeah, I think there's so much more beyond roses. Roses, obviously, yes, but uh, there are so you know, so many other flowers that maybe are slightly understated and sometimes mm. underappreciated, but still there. Like at the moment, we are, um, I'm having an online course literally this um, this this uh, time in February uh, on small um, seasonal spring flowers. So like paper white daffodils and uh, oh. snowdrops oh. and um, muscari. So they're quite fiddly but they also you know with every flower you make you're becoming a better maker as well so don't yeah. underestimate anything <laughs> yeah yes so tell me a bit about the actual making process like tell me about what what you need what you use and for a beginner do they have to sort of spend a lot of money on tools or can you get away with the uh, less well you can you can go big, you can go small, like with everything. And I, I, obviously, you can start small if you, you know, if you haven't made your own flowers, you can start with uh, little. And uh, even some uh, fabric flowers can be made without specialist tools. However, 
fabric usually needs more convincing <laughs> in, to be able to produce a nice uh, flower. If you are okay working with leather, it's more probably more opportunities uh, to produce a leather flower without many tools uh, than with fabric because uh, some fabrics, you know, like I have a hat here, for example. Ooh. This is quite an quite an elaborate row, so I would say yes. it's like intermediate to advanced. So that starts, you know, from white fabric and totally from scratch. So there's a lot to do here. So obviously, if you haven't ever made a flower before, you don't start here. Uh, because you will need tools, you'll need dyes, you will need, um, you know, a lot of knowledge as well, plus time and things like that. Uh, however, I'm aware that, you know, not everybody is at that point uh, when they find me. So I try to offer classes for different levels, uh, including beginner and uh, people who haven't got any tools. So there are some uh, ideas that uh, they can use and tutorials to start making flowers. Maybe, you know, if you get a taster and you like the process and then it helps you sell, uh, for example, your hats, then you can invest in tools and go from there. Yeah. I have some butterflies here. Oh, show me, show me. Can... Show yeah, us everything. So... <laughs> yes. So butterflies, these are <sighs> a bit a bit more advanced, but I have a tutorial on a quite a similar one without any tools that, that you can make. So you can try, start from there, you know, especially if you like uh, the, the process and the result, you have to love the process. <laughs> the process takes a long time. Sorry. But what I'm trying to say is that, you know, if you had a taste that you've liked it, then you can go from there and then maybe start investing into tools and trying further. Right. Because uh, there are, yes, there are simpler flowers, there are more advanced ones. And uh, for more advanced ones, you'll need more knowledge, more uh, supplies, more tools. Right, right. So what else have you got to show us? Do you have any of your leather flowers or? Uh, oh, your dandelions. Yes, I haven't got any leather flowers uh -huh. here, I'm afraid. These are the dandelions. Dandelion heads can be, again, made without any tools. So uh, in the tutorial, you also have a, a leaf and the flower. Those will need shaping with tools. But if you are keen on just making a dandelion clock, as we call it. Yes. Uh, then that doesn't require any tools, just uh, buckets of patience. <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah, but... how, how, how long approximately does it take to make a dandelion flower? Because it for looks... Me, for me or for a beginner? <laughs> uh, well, let's start with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've perfected, uh, you know, the skill of making these Please. parachutes, as I call them. I think to... Um, I mean, the speed now, probably I can make I don't know, 60, 70 um, an hour, so probably one a minute, let's say. <sighs> but one like this is um, is around the, you know, I'll show it. Gets yeah. Like, yeah. So one like this is around 200. 200 uh, little this, parachutes. Yeah, the small one. So, you know, if, if we use, I'm not very good at math these days. No, but no. We need, we need some math. So if, obviously, the, the bigger you grow them, yeah. The more, yeah, the more that uh, parachutes you will need. I you, you're very keen on telling people they're not just for hats, are they? Because I know you sell them as uh, individual flowers yeah. and brooches. Yeah, so I have here. Wait, is it gonna lift her? So there's one here, for example. That's a. <gasps> this is a, a, a choker. <gasps> that is lovely. Yeah, so that's a bridal choker, choker. on a two, uh, like a two scarf, so they can. Adjust, it's, you know, the yes, the size so is like one size fits all, which is nice. And at the back, there's a nice big bow, uh, like yeah, lightweight bow. And also here, um, this is from my current course. Oh. Um, this is a, a a plum blossom. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah, that, that this is uh, you have to work with tweezers. <laughs> They're very small, and uh, yeah, uh, in some cases uh, like this one, you might needs to make your own statements because they're literally tiny. tiny. If you imagine any blossom, yes, they're very small. Yeah. So, uh, but that is, can... that's so elegant just as yes. as a brooch there, isn't yes. it? Yeah, again, you know, if it's a spring wedding or um, or any, any anywhere, I mean, at the moment, unfortunately, we're yeah. not going anywhere, but if you were just, to, you know, to go to a Mother's Day uh, tea or something, yeah. why not? Yeah. Yes, uh, as long as the weather is dry, which in England is not always guaranteed, but obviously the flowers, just like many hats, they don't like rain because yeah. you know, the fabrics are stiffened and uh, yeah. you give them shape. And if 
um, rain comes, the shape just it goes. Yeah. It like well, that. it, that's yeah. like hats, isn't it? I always tell yeah, everyone, yes, don't yes. don't stand in a downpour because your brain yeah. will be down to your chin. <laughs> Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, you have to take care of them uh, as well. But um, if it's a brooch, it's quite a small one, you know, you can maybe uh, pop it in a little box and, and give yeah. it in your purse. So, it's, yeah, it's it's easy. So, yeah, obviously, um, many accessories can be made with flowers. I often, uh, in my tutorials, offer different options, apart from uh, flowers being put on, on hats and uh, trims and headbands. You can make uh, hair combs, you can make shoe clips, you can make... Um, you know, a nice, nice sash for a bride as well with some yeah, flowers, yeah, yeah. Um, buttonholes for grooms, uh, you know, yeah. especially if you're making something for the bride, you yeah. can make, a, for example, if a bride, uh, the bride wants a dandelion, you can make a dandelion a buttonhole for the groom. They won't be able to use real flowers in this case because it's just not going to work. So. Uh, no. <laughs> So tell me about your courses. Are they um, a PDF course? Are they uh, live online? What, um, what type of things do you offer with your courses? Pre-COVID, I also offered <laughs> live yeah. workshops you know, in real time with me. So you could come uh, to my studio and have a, have a class. Usually it's one-to-one -one, or sometimes you know, if you have a friend, you can be two of you. So it's quite a small number of people. Yeah. Um, uh, also, um, because I know not obviously everybody can come, uh, I have I offer PDF that are downloadable the minute you've paid. There are also video courses um, uh, that uh, can be of different lengths. So, for example, the course at the moment on small flowers that we're doing is three weeks plus another week of bonus. You have four lessons for each flower, and each lesson opens from Monday to Thursday. So you're working on step by step, and then you have three days to finish the project. I'm not pushing everybody. I know no. everybody has a lot on their plate at the moment with homeschooling and everything. Yeah. It's just sort of a guideline. Obviously, you can take your time and make it for later. You know, it's um, uh, just to structure the course. And then once we've gone through it, the lessons are for you to uh, watch forever, uh, as long no. as you know I exist. <laughs> Yes, so you can come back, re-watch them, and, and um, watch them as many times as you want, because you need to make several flowers to memorize. Um, the, know, the yeah, the techniques. Yeah. Yes, yes, and there are also little details everywhere. I'm trying to share my own um, you know, experiences, because uh, I've made some mistakes from before from which I've learned, so I want to tell people in advance, please don't do that, because yeah. you'll end up with this, and you don't need it. And uh, I also, I showed how I dye fabrics um, in uh, front of the camera. So that's, uh, some people I know are a little bit afraid of it. Yeah. But, it, you know, you just have to sort of buy the bullet and do it because uh, it's interesting. You might yeah. end up with um, maybe a wrong result once or twice, but th that's learning, you know. You, yeah, you well, like, to... like anything. Like, yes. I mean, all the people that watch our videos on this channel, you know, a lot of them are just starting out and they may not have made anything yet, but they're trying to... Yeah. Yeah. grasp the techniques and learn the process if dyeing is a bit daunting at the moment you can start with uh, the fabrics that you've bought um and in the color that you like right. or for yeah. example yes for example even if you don't make hats from scratch but you like wearing them you can always make a new flower and you know trim the hat again yeah. and uh, have it for a different occasion so if you choose a fabric uh, we work with um usually with um natural fibers so it can be cotton can be silk rayon works okay um sometimes even wool thin wool or like tweed i made flowers from tweed fabric as well um so you can buy it in the color that you like and you can make it from uh, from that fabric uh, without dyeing so i Sometimes like lace here, I tint it a little bit, but uh, you don't have to yeah. it. You can choose something you know, which will go well and use that without uh, getting into coloring first, let's say. Because yeah. it's yes, quite a separate... Uh, so in, in effect, you can learn, you can practice, practice making the flower and then mm -hmm. move on to the dye process, etc. if 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 you feel yeah. inclined. Yeah. yeah. But, but dyeing is good if you especially for custom orders, if yeah. you have match colours, if you're trying to like on this hat, so I started with darker petals in the center, yeah. then paler to the outside. So if you want to create these effects, it will be very difficult, if not impossible, with both fabrics. Because, yes. You know, you won't be yeah. able to find it. 
So dying is good. It's good to to learn it and use it, and that it sort of makes you know your options even wider and offerings for your customers. But it's yeah, it's quite it's a bit of a skill to uh, master. Master, yeah. So the flowers on the hat you're wearing, what are they made with? Is that silk or? Uh, this is rayon satin. It looks like uh, wow. silk satin, but slightly denser, a bit more shiny. Mm. And uh, they are backed with a silver um, metallic fabric. There's also a lot of flowers that I make are backed with another layer of fabric. There's also wire in between, so actually they're quite but, yeah. hard. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. but we want hard because it means that they last. This rose is not hard. This is quite soft. But actually, yeah. it makes it a little bit a little bit more delicate. So I personally quite like hard, but hard is also a little bit tricky because um, there's no um, not much room for mistake. For example, if you yeah. start shaping yeah. and you you put your hot tool onto it, it seals it, so you won't be able to you know redo yeah. it. Whereas with the thin fabrics. You can sort of dampen it a little bit and yeah, change the, yeah. the petal. The, the um, uh, butterflies here are also uh, two layers of fabric. Right. They're also quite hard. Right. Uh, they're not going to fly away anywhere. But then also you can play with colors. So you can make it, um, you know, black and white, for example, if you combine yeah, colors. Or, yeah. or it puts, uh, I like metallic fabrics as well. To, uh, well, I expect to, they uh, probably reflect the light well, don't they? Yes. Yeah, yes. and also you know if it's a if it's a wedding or if it's a special occasion or if it's a um, New Year's party, Christmas or something or corporate uh, uh, party, uh, you want a bit of you know glamour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Accepted. On the leaves here, I do have some. You can. Oh, I see them. sparkle. Yeah. So yeah. So that's a slightly different one. So it's it's um, subtle because you don't really yeah. see it uh, on the. On the right side is uh, velvet, and on the back side is a bit of a sparkle. So, yeah, there's a lot of different fabrics here combined, but that's what we like using to create a different effect. Yeah. So, um, it's it doesn't have to be. If you're a beginner, you can try with um, a couple of fabrics. I have a... Um, um, when you join my um, newsletter, I have a, a number of emails that are going to go out to you, including information about the fabrics that you can start with, the dyes and everything. So um, mm -hmm. there's a lot of information, but um, you have to sort of take a little bit at a time. And uh, the more you make, the more you know, the more you can yes. use and offer as well. So. Yes, yes. And I do know mm -hmm. a lot of um, very well-known milliners do make your flowers, don't they? Yeah, I hope <laughs> they enjoy it. And also it, make, it, it makes the sell their heads better. That's the, Yeah, it adds, <laughs> uh, adds a really fantastic dimension to what could end up being a reasonably plain hat but the, it's all in the decoration with your flowers isn't yes, it yes that's yes. what I think makes a good, it a well-made base plus fantastic flowers, flowers make a really nice yes so Svetlana you say that the more advanced flowers and a lot of the flowers have need tools can you describe what tools you use um yeah it's it's actually some tools that have been used for flower making since the, the time immemorial. So we've just made them a little bit more um, contemporary, shall I say. A lot of people imagine uh, probably tools that they've seen on the, in the pictures or maybe they own on separate handles, wooden handles that they need warming up on, um, on a stove. Um, I have a slightly more advanced version, uh, <laughs> an electric solder iron, right. which can which can take different tips. So these tips are the tools that I use, and uh, different ones are used for different purposes. There should be usually a range of um, round tools uh, uh -huh. where they help shape um, larger petals like roses, uh, poppies sometimes, um, and uh, other flowers, uh, and um, a range of different um, smaller um, tools and uh, hooks that can help, for example, this uh, is that helps curling, curling. the edges. Mm. Yes, uh, and shaping. This is um, uh, like a cat paw. Oh, know, the shape. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so uh, they come in different widths to shape different petals. So that's what we've used in the, uh, yeah. for example, um, uh, in the little daffodils. Oh. So these are very small, so that's about four centimeters, three and a half. Wow. Yes, so yeah, so they're quite quite small. So this is all made from scratch. You start with white fabrics, 
<clears throat> you make the crowns, the, the petals, everything. Everything is also double layered, so it's quite hard actually, eventually. Yeah. But uh, as I say, because it's a wearable thing, especially with brooches, because they are put on, taken off, yes. you want them to be more wearable. I, yeah. I see it as a, as a plus personally. Yeah. Uh, because then you know, people can enjoy them for longer. So oh, I love the snowdrop. Yeah. So realistic. Yeah, yeah. Your flowers are so realistic. <laughs> Well, these are, yes, I tried to make them realistic because they're so small. They are yeah. quite, yes, quite quite nice to have them realistic. <clears throat> um, tools, uh, these tools that I've shown can be used for both leather and fabric, mm -hmm. with leather slightly more carefully because it doesn't take um, as uh, hot temperature as the fabric, but still adds us, helps us uh, shaping some um, uh, petals and leaves in leather too. I have brought a couple of uh, leather pieces here as well, yeah. so um, to show what you can do without tools, for example. Yeah. So that's, that was a Christmas design, so that's a holly. In leather, yeah. Yes, that's leather, and that you can make this without tools, and that can be as a corsage or, again, winter wedding or yeah. winter outing or yeah that's also a little bit uh, more durable i would say than the fabric yes. i have some on my jackets um i often, <laughs> often neglect them they, they don't look their best shape but they're actually still going <laughs> so again you shouldn't really wet them but a couple of drops of rain wouldn't do anything to these whether yeah. with fabric delicate silk might still be damaged right and another design uh very popular uh well this had took some prize some time uh, some years ago uh, this is leather poppies again this design you don't need tools so i'm just trying to oh. make you you know whet your appetite to what you can actually make well i, I should think tools. I should think everybody's appetites are wet. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, again, put on a hat, make it as a as a brooch, brooch? or ah. you know, as a, I have it as a choker as well, uh, on a on a long mm -hmm. um, um, ribbon long stem, so you can mm. put it as a choker, even as a bracelet if you want, to just wrap it around the wrist. So it's yeah, it's quite. Uh, this is quite a showy, you know, attractive flower, yeah. which uh, is going to catch uh, eyes, and uh, yeah. uh, again, is easy. Not easy, easy, but it's possible to make without flowers. So, you you well, will need, obviously, yeah. patience, time, and some knowledge, but you don't need to invest tools straight away. Right. So definitely, yes, definitely. If you are, if you like flower, making flowers, if you want to have a go, definitely start with some that don't require any tools. And if you like them... Thank you so much for this interview. It's been lovely, and I, I hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I always enjoy talking about flowers. I can talk for a long time. Uh, so, yes, I hope I've inspired you and uh, our, um, um, our viewers as yeah. well. Yes, the audience to try, go out and try some and um, enjoy the process as well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.